So you want to paint your skis or snowboard? At least after this video you will want to because I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'll be painting my skis for the fifth time and show you exactly how it can be done and tell you about what I've learned. There are five steps to it. Removing the binding, roughening the surface, spraying the colored paint on, putting a clear coat over that, and then just screwing the bindings back on. Step one is quite straightforward. Just find the screws connecting the binding to the ski. Step two is roughening up the surface because that will make the spray paint stick better. You could do it with some sandpaper by hand or you can use a orbital sander to be done quicker. The way that I do it is using the orbital sander for the flat top and the sandpaper for the edge. Don't be too rough, a 240 grit sandpaper is enough. On my ski though, I wanted to remove the old paint since it's not that smooth, so I go over it with a 100 grit sandpaper first. Step 3 now is the fun one, and your choices of painting the skis are endless. But when it comes to the type of spray paint, in case that's what you're going for, use the ones that are meant as car paint, which I personally got at a car fixing store. Don't try to save money buying a cheaper spray paint, it's not gonna be worth it. I tried out 8 different spray can products, including graffiti and water based cans. Both didn't last that long and reacted badly with the clear coat I'm using. The best thing you can do is spray a small sample somewhere and then spray your clear coat finish over it to see if it reacts. Only buy paints from the same brand since many spray paints react badly together. Design wise you can watch my older videos for inspiration or you just get creative. The simplest way of getting a cool paint job, in my opinion, is to use masking tape. I use the blue painter's tape from Teaser because it causes less bleeding, meaning that the edges are sharper. Other options are creating a stencil, which I did on a plotter with some sticky paper, letting paint drip, just painting it on, You can of course also just use body parts. Or using some soap, one of my favorite techniques. You spray paint your highlight color on the ski, then drizzle on the soap, and afterwards spray your base color over it. The paint will not stick to the ski where the soap is and you can wash it back off. The best method I found is to wait a moment after the drizzling, since the soap will expand a bit, and washing it off as soon as the paint is dry to the touch. Seems to work best. Always remember, less is more. Rather do many thin layers than spraying a huge amount of paint on there, in any case. Spray paint dries faster the warmer it is, also keep that in mind. If you mess up your canvas and you want to try again, you can use some acetone or sand the paint back off. Step 4 will now mainly determine how long your paint lasts. Because we are now going to put a clear coat finish on. A clear coat is like a protective foil on your phone screen. It's going to save you from a lot of scratches. There's a simple version, which is using spray can clear coat. If you use it, make sure you coat it many times, like five or more, because it will not hold a long time. Don't expect your skis to still look stunning after a few sessions. Your best option is to apply two component clear coat, but you need a contraption to spray the liquid in that case. I'm sure you could also take your skis to a car paint shop and ask them to coat it. My dad is nice enough to coat it for me three times. This is how my last paint job looks after three winters of quite extreme abuse. 
If you want to see what I mean with that, check out my other channel called Teamed Up. Step 5 is to simply put your bindings back on and then you're ready to hit the slope. Just make sure to not over tighten the screws since on skis normally you don't have threaded inserts like on most snowboards. It's better to use a hand screwdriver instead of an electric one to not damage the thread. And that's it. I hope you learned something and maybe we'll meet again. Till then, have a wonderful time.